it going out there, YouTubers? Cybernix Shark here with another new movie review for you. So let's go right into this review and see what it's about. So the other day, I had the chance of getting to see a great new holiday movie that is kind of holiday movie, but also a sequel to a previous non-holiday movie. And that is the great and awesome sequel, A Bad Mom's Christmas. Now, A Bad Mom's Christmas is a, like I said, a sequel to the original Bad Moms that came out in 2015. And it just was an all-around awesome and amazing and just excellent sequel. I really feel that this is even better than the first one. It was so stinking funny. Now, this movie was directed by the same duo that directed the first film, Mr. John Lucas and Scott Moore. Now, Josh Lucas and Scott Moore also have directed a couple other films, too. Well, to mention, they originally directed the original, Bad Moms, which was a great, successful film and just a fun and all-around silly film. They also directed another kind of coming-to-age, kind of drinking buddy type of film that came out a couple years ago, and that's the film 21 and Over, which was actually not too bad of a film. I actually was kind of interested in it. Uh, when I first saw the preview for it, and after watching it, I thought it was a pretty funny movie, and I was really surprised at how funny it was. I thought John and Scott did a good job of directing that too, and it really brought uh, a lot of flavor and a lot of uh, interesting nooks and crannies that show you how good of a directors they are, and screenwriters themselves too, because they really... Uh, their directing talent really showed in that film to show that what would basically become bad moms and bad a bad mom's christmas because they're just they're really good at giving good like kind of crude comedy films so the, i felt that they directed a bad mom's christmas excellently i thought they just did just as good as the first one and made it even better i thought the comedy the writing of the second one was even better and just had a lot of great more jokes and the additions of uh, the three great actresses that play the moms in the film were just an amazing and fun uh, and just excellent uh, addition to the, the film series. Now this film has a great and amazing cast that of course majority of the people from the original came back with a few additions to add um, their moms. So this film, we start out with the awesome and beautiful Miss Mila Kunis. Now, Mila Kunis, we all recognize from, of course, that 70s show. But a couple movies that I think she's really good in, too, as well, that a lot of people recognize her for are such films as the uh, Darren Ofnowski film, Black Swan, uh, starring also Natalie Portman, uh, which was a big success and uh, Academy Award winning film. Uh, Mila Kunis's character in it was really interesting and very dark, and I really enjoyed that, and I thought it was a different kind of uh, take for her on films, because usually she does comedies, um, like rom-com type of films, and I just felt that it was a new addition to her acting credits, and showing that she has a, another side to her. She also was in another great film that I absolutely enjoy and thought it was a seriously funny film. And that's Friends with Benefits, starring the awesome Justin Timberlake. And Friends with Benefits kind of reminds me a lot of the other Natalie Portman film, uh, No String Attached, with Ashton Kutcher. And I feel that those two films are very similar in a, in a way. And if you ever notice, sometimes they pair them together on like double disc sets and stuff like that. Uh, but all around, it was just a fun kind of rom-com comedy and just a fun film. I thought their chemistry was really fun, and I thought it was just an interesting film. Now, Mila Kunis once again reprises a role from the first Bat Moms, and just it was once again just a great and awesome characterization and role. She was really awesome in it, really funny, and just all-around pleasure to see again the film. I thought she did a great job in the first one, and I thought that she brought a lot more uh, interesting aspects to this film. Uh, even though it's almost basically the same kind of premise as the first film, her character evolves a little bit and kind of, you know, runs back into the old pattern, but then realizes with her friends, no, we're going to take Christmas. We're going to take it back. We're going to be these bad moms. 
And she just she brought a lot of great and interesting new characterizations to the film, and I she was just a pleasure to watch in the film. We also have a film returning, the awesome and beautiful Miss Kristen Bell. Now, Kristen Bell is just an amazing actress. I just absolutely love her and everything I see her, and I think she's just a hoot, uh, and I think she's just super funny. Now, a couple movies that I feel that she was really good in, and that. Uh, are more recognizable to me, but some people might recognize her as, you know, in these films because they're newer. And uh, at the same time, though, one of the films is actually uh, based off of a TV show she was on. And that, of course, is the Veronica Mars movie, which was a really good movie. I actually never watched the show, uh, but after watching the movie, I definitely want to watch the show and because I, th I thought the movie was amazing and just... Kristen Bell was so awesome in it, and it was just fun, and all around just a joy in it, and just was super funny, and like, uh, that whole, like, kind of, like, uh, trying to, just, you know, solve the crime type of thing was really awesome, which I love that aspect of movies, I love type of shows like that, and it just was an all around really well done movie, I was so, you know, psyched that they, they got the crown funny to make the film, because it just, it was such an amazing film. I hope they make future ones in the future because uh, Veronica Mars is an awesome character. Another film that Kristen Bell was in that I really enjoyed was the awesome 2016 film, The Boss, with uh, Melissa McCarthy. And I just loved her character in that. thought it was super funny. I uh, loved her as that mother type of role and trying to take care of Melissa McCarthy's character who is like this big bad businesswoman. And she just was a fun and a hoot in it as well. And she brought a lot of great, you know, of her own personality to the character, I felt. Because if you ever watch her in interviews, she's very similar to this character that's in The Boss. And she just, I, I just, it was fun. It was a funny movie, and she was really good in it. And she was a great addition to the film. Just all around awesome. But in Bad Moms A Christmas, she did an amazing job again playing the same character. Uh, she brought... You know, great emphasis, once again, just kind of like Mila Kunis, she brought a lot more characterization, a lot more funniness to this character this time around. Uh, she just was a real pleasure, and just a real fun, you know, addition to the film again, and just a fun leading lady in the film. We also have returning in the film, also another great actress, comedian, but also just a beautiful person, just beautiful, is Miss Catherine Hahn. Now, Catherine Hahn has been around for, you know, 20 plus years now in the industry and just is a super funny actress and everything she's in she's always super funny and one of my favorite roles of hers is actually the uh her short part that's in the awesome film step brothers as uh the uh wife of adam uh character in the film that's supposed to be uh will ferrell's brother in the film and she just so stick of funny in that movie. She absolutely makes me die laughing every time I see her in that role. And just some of the lines she says were just so well done and so just on point. And you cannot help but to laugh at them because they're so stinking funny. And she just brought a lot of great, you know, chemistry to that film and was a great addition as well. Another awesome film she was in that I totally forgot she was in. Because I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but it's an awesome film with the awesome Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey from the early two thousands, uh, How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days, which Catherine Hahn plays one of uh, Kate Hudson's friends in the film, and I totally have forgotten that. And I watched it again recently, and I was like, Oh my gosh, she's so stinking hilarious in this film, and just she was such a great addition to that film because. She just brought a lot of, like, funny, once again, one-liners that were just so stinking funny. And I, it, it, she was just an awesome pleasure in the film. She just is a great comedian. And I wish she was in more movies because she is just so stinking funny. But her, bringing her character back to life in A Bad Mom's Christmas was just a great pleasure again. I love her ev her evolving character in the film. I love how she's gone from, you know, this you know, just promiscuous woman to kind of altering and wanting to become more of, you know, have a relationship more, be more home with her son, be more responsible. I love that, you know, evolution of that character. And I thought Catherine Hahn did an amazing job bringing that to life. And her chemistry uh, with 
with the awesome uh, character in the film that plays her kind of like date in the film uh, was just so stinking perfect and hilarious. They played so well off each other. And it just, it was so stinking funny. Uh, and it, it's just one of those movies in that characterization of that character that just made the movie such a good movie. And she really does have a lot of the best one-liners in the film. She really does. So it was great to see her again in the film. Uh, another great pleasure, a great addition to this film. We also have in the film an awesome new addition to the film who I absolutely think plays the greatest evil, you know, straight-laced type of mother figures and and all kinds of movies that she's in. I just think she's absolutely hilarious and plays that straight-laced kind of person so so well. And that's Miss Christine Berinsky. Now, Christine Berinsky, we all know from such films as Mamma Mia, and we know her as Leonard's mother in Big Bang, uh, and so forth. But some of, a couple of the roles that I think she was really awesome in and that I really enjoyed her in was, of course, the 1996 film The Birdcage with Gene Hackman, Robin Williams, and Nathan Lane. And she just, I love, even though it was like a short part in the film, I still think she brought a lot of new different flavor compared to her other characters in films. But still was kind of like that mother role where she didn't really want responsibility of the mother, but she was like very straight-laced and, you know, very business-like. And it just was a, it was a great role. She was also in another great film that I really enjoyed. And that film was the 2015 musical film, Into the Woods. And she plays an interesting character in the film. I really haven't had a chance to see the movie, but I love uh, all the previews I've seen for the film and some of the music uh, that I've seen the short parts of the film from. And just it, it was a great role that she played in it, and her mu singing voice was amazing. Uh, but she actually got a lot of claim, a lot of claim to fame for that role, and it really, you know, brought her uh, some more attention for how great of an actress she is. And that's just, it's an interesting Bill Condon film. And it had great music again, just like, you know, a lot of people feel Be the Beast had and Cinderella had. And just Christina, Christine Berinsky's character in that was just an interesting character. And a, very different from her other roles. But still, like, again, once again, that kind of straight-laced evil stepmother kind of feel, or just mother feel, which she tends to always play. But in B A Bad Mom's Christmas, she was awesome. I absolutely loved her as Mila Kunis' mother. She was super funny. Uh, her vulnerability in the film was amazing and just super awesome. I loved seeing her kind of become more of a mother mother and becoming, you know, interesting like she is and just being awesome like that. And it, that was just something I really hadn't seen from her characters in other films. And I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And I just thought she was a great addition to the film. Another awesome actress that's in a new addition to the film is Miss Susan Sarandon, who, no matter how old she gets, she is goddamn gorgeous. This woman is like sex appeal to the T, kind of like Sophia Loren. She, they do not age, and they're always like, just like, holy crap, she's hot, you know? And every film I see Susan Sarandon, and I'm always like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good she looks, and just how awesome an actress she is. And this kind of role she's kind of rolled into over the years of being like this, like, you know, free-spirited mother or free-spirited person is always funny to watch, because in real life, she's, she's kind of like that. But at the same time, she has a very stern and you know serious side to her, where she's a very smart person. So it's always funny to see her in these roles, playing this character, and it's always fun in every movie that she's in doing this character. And she brings a great presence to this film, and it was just a great addition to the film. Now, a couple films that she was in that I think are just really good roles are, of course, the 1995 film, or 1993 or 94, I, I can't remember exactly, uh, offhand, is the awesome film The Client with Tommy Lee Jones and Brad Renfro, uh, which she just played an amazing character in that film. It was just all-around great film, uh, along the lines to me of like The Fugitive around that time and uh, the films like The Pelican Brief, The Firm, 
Uh, it just it's one of those great, awesome, you know, based on a book film that just was so well done. And Susan Sarandon was awesome in it. She was also in another great film uh, that was a Disney film that just was all around fun and had a great cast with Patrick Dempsey and also Amy Adams in it. And that's the film Enchanted, which was just an awesome film. And I loved her as kind of like the Maleficent evil queen woman. And she just was so super, like, you know, evil in it and just awesome at the same time. It's so charming, and I just absolutely love that role. But like I was saying, in the film, A Bad Mom's Christmas, she was just awesome. I loved her as Catherine Hahn's mother. She was, the, you know, that same character, like I said, and she brought a great new character to the film series. And hopefully, I hope if they make another film that they bring, you know, her back, playing Catherine Hahn's mom and she has you know a bigger role in it because she was just so fun in it and just super funny as usual another great addition to the film series was an awesome actress that was on Curb Your Enthusiasm and has been in you know several films over the years and that is Miss Cheryl Hine now Cheryl Hine has been in, like I said a whole bunch of great movies lots of cameos small parts but also known as Larry David's wife on Curb Your Enthusiasm. But a couple of films that I really enjoyed her in that I thought she was super funny were, of course, the awesome 2006 Rob Williams film, RV, where she plays Rob Williams' wife. I absolutely thought she was super hilarious in it. It was actually, I didn't recognize her, and that was like pretty much the first movie I ever saw her in. And I was like, this lady is kind of funny. I was, I was kind of impressed by her, you know, comedic timing and com comedy appeal. And I thought she was super funny because I actually hadn't watched Curb yet. And uh, that movie made me really want to watch Curb Your Enthusiasm because I just thought Cheryl Hines was really funny. And she just, you know, brought a lot of great, you know, comedy elements and just funness to that film. And, of course, you know, because Rob Williams was so amazing, was such one of the greatest comedians of all time. He was so stinking funny in that film with her. And they, they just worked off each other so well. And it just was an all-around awesome Barry Sonnefeld film. One of my favorites uh, of Robbins. I just thought it was such a great film. And Cheryl Hines was a great addition to that film. Another great film that Cheryl Hines was in that I thought was a really good movie was the awesome Ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston film from 2004 that is called Along Came Polly, which I thought, you know, Cheryl Hines' character was very uh, short but sweet to the point in the film. And was very interesting, and just she brought a lot of great chemistry to the you know to that short part that she put into it. But it was super funny because she was kind of like evil, uh, kind of like you know boss character. But even though it was like very short and like to the point, the characterization she still was super funny though because she was like so straight laced about it. And just it was a, it was a fun and interesting little role for the film that you know brought the whole film together, and I thought it made it even better. And I thought just you know Cheryl Hines is a great you know comedian. I feel, but in Bad Mom's Christmas, Cheryl Hines is absolutely freaking hilarious. Oh my god, she as Kristen Bell's mother and kind of like obsessed with Kristen Bell's character in the film was super stinking hilarious. Her wearing the sh you know sweaters and shirts with her picture on it, the the uh, awesome you know pajamas that she's wearing, and like she always wants to be right there watching what her daughter's doing. She was uh, absolutely probably the best part of this film because she was just so stinking hilarious. I absolutely enjoyed her in it. Thought she was awesome and excellent amazing in the film and just was a super amazing uh, addition to the film i really hope if they make like i said another one she's also in it along with sue Sarandon and also christine uh, berensky because they were all just great additions to this awesome film just all around fun fun film but if you're not familiar with what a bad mom's christmas is about basically what the premise of this one is is they're trying to basically uh, take back Christmas from their moms because their moms have come to visit for Christmas and basically they're like wrecking their lives again like in the first one where they don't really have control of their life. So they decide, the three of them, Kristen Bell, Mila Kunis, and Catherine Hahn, to basically take back Christmas and make Christmas how they want it instead of how their mothers want to do it. 
And pretty much that's the premise of the film. And really it kind of focuses more on Mila Kunis's and Christine Baranski's uh, relationship more than the others. But still, the others two play kind of a pivotal role in the other characters as well. But that's pretty much what the premise of the film is. And it was a super awesome premise. Super funny. Just an amazing film. Giant 10 golden movie boxes up on this one. It was a true entertainment joy. Uh, I mean, this is what Hollywood is about. It's about entertainment value, and that's what this film was. Super entertainment. And it just, it, it was an amazing film, and definitely looking forward to adding this to my collection. It was just so good. Amazing, amazing film. Uh, looking forward to watching it again eventually, because it was just so good. So that's it for this movie review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And also, thank you for subscribing if you've already subscribed. And if this is your first time here, or if you haven't subscribed yet and watched my previous videos, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button so you don't miss one of these awesome movie reviews or any of my awesome videos. And as always, keep your eyes out for any older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, please check down that awesome link down below about the awesome horror pack. Especially if you're a horror movie buff, what better way to get horror movies and different ones every time than right to your door for a low price? And also... What, who wouldn't want limited editions that are in each box of awesome horror goodness that is exclusive to the awesome horror pack? Come on, people. This is awesome. Check it out. And if you're very much interested and want to join, let me know down in the comments down below so I can hook you up with an awesome discount in your first month. And as always, catch you in the next one.